that spirit in some ways would he would would history have produced the thomas jeffersons and the alexander hamiltons of the world if it weren't for the fact that they had this oppressive regime to stand up against I think probably not. I love America. I mean, I've got a Welsh last name. I'm not against. I'm, I'm not an Anglophile, but I'm not an Anglophobe. But the system of the British Empire and the ghost of it through BlackRock and its Royal Institute of International Affairs and the CFR and these corporate management boards are devolving the governments while they expand them and transferring the power to themselves. That's the new world order. That's global. But it's actually the old world order. It is. You're right. It's really just the old world order in new world clothing. That's exactly it. And that's what we got to understand. And so. so the optimistic side of me says that what a special time it would have been to be alive in the spring of 1776. I mean, it was a special time to be alive. You got Thomas Jefferson, the age of 33. People say, I'm old. I'm young. <laughs> well, I'm old compared to Thomas Jefferson. He was 33 when he wrote the Declaration Absolutely. of Independence. Absolutely. Genius. You have people who are the pioneers, the explorers, the unafraid that said, you know what? We are going to not just be victimized by this. We're going to chart a new way forward. Well, 33 That's was the old. moment we live in. I totally agree. 33 was old back then because a lot of people died young. You either live, you'll die young or live a really long time. But